Hello and welcome to this special edition of CNC Talk, where we'll be diving into the Beijing Winter Olympics. I'm Zhong Pingping in Beijing. Follow us as we chat with the professionals about their insights on the ongoing competitions. Our guest today is Mr. Sebastian Wuprimni, Winter Sports Coordinator for the Colombian Olympic Committee. So, Mr. Wuprimni, first of all, thank you for joining us today. How have you enjoyed your stay at the Olympic Village so far? I would love to hear more about your experience attending the Beijing Winter Olympics. What really stood out for you? Because uh, so I've been staying there and here, so that's what I have been traveling back and forth. Uh, the transportation is great. I like I like the bullet train. I just jump into the train in one hour. You are in the mountain. Um, then, if you compare to to my previous experience, for instance, four years ago, COVID has a toll on all this. I mean, all the restrictions, uh, not being able to go out and and see the city, see the wall, see see the center of the city is very disappointing because you don't come here every every year, right? But inside the village, I mean, even though there there are restrictions, it's been as always. It's, it's the Olympics, so it's a it's a good experience. I was excited to see the Colombian athletes competing in the Beijing Winter Olympics. In your opinion, how have they stacked up against the competition so far? Yeah, so for the first time, our country had the opportunity to um, compete in two events, which was the sprint. That was the first time ever, and for the second time in history, on the 15 kilometers. And uh, uh, we we were very excited. We have a lot of coverage on TV. It was a good story. I think uh, the expectations were accomplished. In your opinion, how have the Chinese athletes performed at the games? What kind of impact do you think the Winter Olympics will have on winter sports in China going forward? Well, just from the infrastructure perspective, it's amazing what they built. So, um, and uh, you can see that winter is not. Uh, in into China, so I think it's one of the main reasons why the Olympics came here is because it's a huge market with um, millions of people that we hope that with this experience after the Olympics, winter becomes um, becomes something uh, interesting for for this area. Beyond that, uh, as far as the Chinese athletes, it's it's gonna take a, a full generation to get there. But you can see they've been working really, really hard in getting athletes uh, at the level, at a competitive level. So uh, it will be interesting to see how they do beyond Beijing, how they do in Milano and Cortina in four years, and 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 how the people start liking the winter sports. Mr. Wuprumni, thank you for joining us today. It was fantastic talking winter sports with you. And that wraps up this episode of CNC Talk, special for Beijing Winter Olympics. Thank you for watching. See you next time.